great IPOP. These officers were overpowered by IPOP while trying to kidnap in Abia State. See details. It's not today. The Nigerian police, let me tell you, 90% um, of our Nigerian police officers are indulged in kidnapping. If they are not directly indulged, they are indirectly. They are the ones you will see covering kidnappers. Mm -hmm. Covering kidnappers. You need to hear what, uh, uh, what, what is it called? The, uh, the, uh, the prelate of Methodist uh, church that just escaped kidnapping after paying almost um, 100 million. You need to hear what he said. He said that to his humble surprise, after they were kidnapped, that where the kidnappers were taking them to, that there are soldiers around that very vicinity. That these soldiers saw them and they took their face off as if they never saw them. You see that? And someone somewhere will be telling me that this country go better. What be tied that? Nigeria no go better. Because the people that are supposed to make it better are the ones destroying it. Let's check the content. IPOP has shown itself again while overpowering these police officers who indulge in kidnapping in Abia. The Nigerian police force has frowned at what it described as an unguarded statement by its personnel in Abia State against the Nigerian army. Nigerian News understands that a chief superintendent of the police force had earlier said in Abia State, the military is not helping matters in the fight against kidnappers to arising different communities in the state. A video had gone viral earlier showing the CSP addressing a gathering of people where he attributed kidnapping in the Isuochi community in Abia to activities of headsmen. Having condemned dreadful attacks by the criminal elements in the state, the officer went further to say that men of the Nigerian army are not supportive of the mission to silence the assailants. IPOP who everybody now thought are the kidnappers and now the one that rescued the victims that were almost kidnapped by these same military officers. The officer's statement that called for the disciplinary measures read, My name is CSP Jumbo, Commander Rapid Response Squad, Abia State Police Command. I was sent here by the Commission of Police to this they go to come and assist the people of Iswachi to do away with all these kidnappers, the Fulanis, who are kidnapping our people. Our people who are coming home, they are kidnapping them. We are not happy about it. Yesterday night, I sent my men to the Gaki cattle market. They are referring to the kidnappers. Go there to spend money after kidnapping our people. They will collect ransom. They will go and spend it there. Cattle market. The army is not helping you. Reacting, however, to the video, the first spokesperson, Olumu Yiwa Adejobi, said in a statement on Wednesday that unprofessional and unguarded utterances of the officer do not represent the principles and ideals of the force. The police reaction read in full. The attention of the Nigerian police force has been drawn to a video making the rounds in some section of the media where a chief superintendent of police of the Rapid Response Squad, RRS, attached to the Abia State Police Command while on a special duty at Omunochi, local government area of the state, following the kidnap of some members of the community on Sunday 29th, May 2022, was seen addressing a crowd in an unapproved and unprofessional manner by attacking a particular ethnic group and casting aspersion on other security agencies. It is pertinent 
to the state that the officers was at the location to carry out a rescue operation led by an assistant commissioner of police. Too disgraceful. Too disgraceful. Too disgraceful. Car! My dear listeners, um, I tell you that with this, with this that has happened, you will now see how kidnapping in Nigeria will increase. If immediate action is not taken on these criminals that call themselves police officers, if action is not taken, someone said this thing one certain time that if only investigation of criminality in Nigeria can begin in the military, that they will discover that they would, that will end up making progress. He said that the military are the ones mostly involved in criminality because they are the ones mostly found with guns. Now, have you, can you now ask yourself, how come these criminals having a gun? If not for the military that is giving it to them. You understand? That is just the humble truth. But our country, Nigeria, our leaders in the police force will not want to do that because they know that they are part and parcel of, of this. Is that not crazy? All right. Let me hear you speak anyway to know what you think and what your take on this very um, broadcast may be. Don't forget your comments are very, very, very important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.